So from impeachment to health care and education, all major issues for 2020 Democrats. But what about matters of faith? Well, on this Christmas, our Madeline Rivera takes a look at how the hopefuls are looking to get the religious vote. From Senator Cory Booker. This is a time to reflect on faith and family, and I'm very much looking forward to it. To Andrew Yang. We attend church regularly, and our, our boys are in Sunday school. Democratic presidential hopefuls are touching on religion, at times invoking verses from the Bible. I'm offering a presidency where you don't have to wake up in the morning, look at the news, and think to yourself, whatever happened to I was hungry and you fed me? Democrats have long tried to court religious voters after evangelicals played a big role in former President George W. Bush's re-election in 2004. Democrats were really looking inward to see, uh, you know, how they could uh, appropriately engage um, and include their own faith uh, and their faith narrative within the campaign trail and how to best connect with those individuals of faith. An Associated Press poll shows only 37 percent of Democrats feel it's moderately important for a candidate to have strong religious beliefs, as compared with two-thirds of Republicans. But many Iowans believe religion can play a bigger factor in this election cycle. Religion is significant in this campaign because of Trump and what an affront he is to anyone with a moral value. Religion may be more important in early states like here in Iowa or South Carolina, where more than 75 percent of the population practice some form of Christianity. Still, other voters say what matters more to them is how candidates manifest their religion in their platforms. Economic justice and, and health care access, these are all issues that I think Democrats of faith consider. For voters, a crucial consideration with the country's first caucus only weeks away. In Des Moines, Iowa, Madeline Rivera, Fox News.